advanced accounting 11 bargain purchase of a subsidiary. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, our email, and our phone number. And the source for this information is the advanced accounting text from McGraw Hill. We talked about with wholly owned subsidiaries and other purchases the differential. We talked about a differential being related to debt, but a differential just generally defined is the fact that fair value may be more or less than the book value. And then at the bottom you'll see in the bullet point from last time the consolidation elimination entry to eliminate the activity between the parent and the subsidiary where we debit to take the equity off the books, we debit common stock and retained earnings, we credit an investment account, but the entry is going to be a little bit different this time. If I flip to the next slide, we're talking about here 100% ownership that's acquired at something less than the fair value. Something less than fair value. And in this case, the fair value of the assets is going to be greater than the differential. So we would report a gain or a bargain purchase because you're getting a deal. You're buying at something at less than fair value. So when we do our elimination entry, we're going to debit specific assets as we've seen before. Maybe land was more or less valuable. Maybe equipment was more or less valuable. We're going to credit the differential, differ, differential to get rid of it. And then there's going to be a credit to retain earnings, to increase retain earnings. So let's see how that works in process, in practice. If I go over to my Excel document, I see Hollywood Jeans balance sheet. And as we've seen on prior videos, we've got book values on the left, fair values on the right, and the difference between the two and the third column. In this case, it's simple. With land, we have a fair value that's $30,000 more in the book value, and that's the only difference between the two. Between book value and fair value, the only difference is land, which has a fair value that's $30,000 higher. So if I subtract assets from liabilities, my book value is 225. My fair value is 255 for a difference of $30,000. Now I flip over to my actual transaction. 100% <coughs> of Hollywood jeans is going to be purchased by Levi's jeans. You'll see the transaction column here. Transaction comment. For $235,000 in cash. So as we've seen before, a similar entry. We're going to debit investment of Hollywood jeans, and we're going to credit cash to recognize the purchase of Hollywood jeans by Levi's. And as I've got with the asterisks here in blue, the investment in Hollywood jeans is going to be posted to Levi's balance sheet, and we'll see that in the consolidation schedule in a minute. We first define the differential in advanced accounting 7. And we set up the entry the same way. We've got the fair value of the consideration, which is simply the cash that we paid for the asset. And we acquired, we look at the book value of the assets that we acquired. And if we flip back to the first schedule, the book value common, there's our common stock and retained earnings. For a total of 225000 so our differential, the fact that fair value is greater than book value, is $10,000. As we commented on prior videos, the whole reason we have a differential, which I've written in blue, is that the fair value of the specific assets is greater, in this case land is greater, or there's goodwill that exists that hasn't been recorded yet. But the last schedule shows how this transaction is a little different. 
here's the fair value of the consideration, the cash that we pay. Here's the book value of the assets that are acquired, 225000 which is here. But then we look at the fair value of the assets that are acquired, 255000 which was over here. So in this case, the amount that we pay, the fair value of the consideration, was more than book value. But the amount we paid is less than the fair value. So in other words, we got a deal. We got a bargain. So this next column shows the difference between the two. There's the difference between what we paid and the fair value. The $20,000 bargain, if you will. Here's the difference between the fair value and the book value. And you can see I've got some definitions right over here. So lastly, let's see the entries that we make to consolidate Levi's Jeans the parent and Hollywood Jeans the subsidiary. We're going to have some elimination entries in our consolidated balance sheet. So we indebited the investment in Hollywood Jeans on Levi's books for the $235,000 cash paid. I want to point that out. So we have a couple elimination entries. The first is similar to what we've seen before. This entry is being made to eliminate that investment in Hollywood Jeans balance. So we need to credit the investment account to get it to zero. And the question is, what are the debit side? What are the debits? Well, we're going to debit the common stock and retained earnings. And the difference between what I've got highlighted and the two and the two hundred and thirty five thousand investment, to make it balance we need a ten thousand dollar debit, which happens to be a differential. And you can see that our total debits equal total credits. We've seen that entry before. But now we need to get rid of that differential of ten thousand dollars. So how do we do that? Well, as we've seen before, we're going to assign that differential to land, the debit of $30,000, which is the fair value of the land that we saw right here. So we're going to assign that fair value of the land, and we're going to debit the asset to increase it. We're going to remove the differential, $10,000, from the books by crediting. But we need to balance the interest. We need a $20,000 credit. And we do that by increasing, by crediting retained earnings. Why? Because we have a gain because we were able to buy the assets at something less than fair value. We got a bargain. We bought it at a bargain. So the, we, uh, the purpose of this entry is to assign the differential to eliminate it due to a bargain purchase. Another way to think about it is retained earnings always includes net income. A gain is considered something that's going to increase your profit. So it should make sense if net income increases retained earnings by crediting. A bargain purchase would increase retained earnings by crediting also. Lastly, you'll see that in blue here, I have the two uh, journal entries to eliminate the balance is in consolidation. We take investment in genomes off the books. We recognize the differential. We debit common stock and retain earnings of the subsidiary. That's what this entry is in blue. Our entry in gray and brown. We debit the specific asset. We get rid of the differential and the difference goes to retained earnings, and we have a balanced asset and liability totals. That's the end of Advanced Accounting 7. Here's our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, to register for one-on-one -on -one tutoring using gotomeeting.com. Here's our website, email address, and phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.